And I'm continuing. Still the same day of recording, but stuff. Yes, Mr. Holmes. Yes, we want to talk about this. Uh, uh, I don't know. You would have to search through the English works of this century near the west section of the gallery. Thank you. My thanks, Palinor. Come, Watson, let's take a look at the painting. Oh good, it remembers my uh thing. Uh it's this way. Either way's fine, but I think it's just faster. Could be slower actually, I think about it. Here's what I've been looking for. Well this is all recording fine now, because I had to obviously turn some stuff down because it was really loud. The fighting temera, splendid. What do you think? I agree, it's splendid. The existence of this painting would seem to give credit to this whole affair. As long as this painting remains on this wall, this letter, even if it is eloquent and provocative, is nothing more than a letter. It is possible that all of this could be a hoax with no substance whatsoever. We will know soon enough, as the theft will have to take place tonight. We must warn the museum's director, Holmes. You are correct, Watson. Shall we? <coughs> uh, I uploaded part two at like four minutes. Um, I noticed it when I was typing in the, uh, on the keyboard, uh, since my R buttons record, uh, when I was typing in Horatio, it actually, I hit the R button and stopped recording. So, yeah, what you missed was that little, uh, thing is you type in Horatio Nelson and you hit the tick, and that's the answer to that thing. Uh, director. Fantastic! Superb! Now, my throw, I believe that everything is settled. This collaboration will be my crowning glory, my masterpiece. Merci! I have finished the inventory of the works of art, Director. Oh, and I have the pleasure of introducing the great detective, Sherlock Holmes, and his companion, Dr. Watson. Good day, gentlemen. It's with pleasure that I welcome you to our gallery. I trust that you are here for pleasure and not business? I'm afraid that is not the case. Oh. When it is no longer a matter of art, the artist must make his excuses. Messieurs, until we meet again, no need to accompany me. I know the way. My apologies, gentlemen. Have you been waiting long? Mr. Palinor was able to answer all of oh my God. questions. Oh my god. She's I there? Who was that man? Holy shit. Had? That was Horace Velmont, a French painter. One of the best, seemingly. His letters of recommendation come from some of the grandest salons in Paris. A Frenchman? Let's take a look, Watson. Yes, he's very avant-garde. He heard that we were showing the works of modern painters during our temporary exhibitions. He has loaned us a number of paintings and has promised to donate those that have the greatest success to the museum. Lestrade, just in time. And the Frenchman Watson? Gone? Director, this is Inspector Lestrade from Scotland Yard. Lestrade, this is the director of the National Gallery, Sir Pointer, and his assistant, Mr. Pardon Palinor. Me? Lestrade, would you have your constable on duty guard the entrance and make sure that nobody comes into the museum? <laughs> director, is there anything else? No, but... If you would care to follow me, I'll show you what the motivation behind all of this is. The reason for this little gathering is this letter that I received at my lodgings this morning. Without getting into too much detail, it claims that this painting, The Fighting Temeraire, will be stolen tonight. Pardon? There now! It's because of a letter that you've disturbed me! You believe that? I would never have taken the liberty to disturb you if this letter, the authenticity of which I must admit hasn't been completely confirmed, was not written by the one and only Arsene Lupin. Arsene Lupin? Arsene Lupin? Us? Us no? Who? Lu? What? Arsene Lupin, the most wanted cat burglar in the world. We will know soon enough whether or not this letter is a fake, or if I had reason to disturb you, Lestrade. But you must understand that we couldn't take even the slightest chance. Hmm, perhaps. Why not simply put this thing under lock and key in the bank or at Scotland Yard? We cannot risk storing 
the painting in an improper environment or to entrust it to anyone who calls it a thing. All that would achieve would be to shift the problem. This painting is priceless. Beware he who would harm it. What I propose, Lestrade, is to do a tour of the museum with Sir Pointer in order to check any possible points of break and entry and leave two men on duty here tonight. In addition, Director, you must close the museum to the public and not let anyone else in. If you feel it's necessary. And you, Holmes? I'll pass by tomorrow at dawn. We'll know then what we're up against. Should the unthinkable have occurred, I insist that nothing is touched until I arrive. Is that clear? Let's be off, Watson. Listen, Inspector. I have a lot of work to take care of. It would be better if I leave you to do a tour by yourself. You are, after all, a professional. Here are the keys to all of the locked doors. If you need me, I'll be in my office. Well, I best inspect the museum to find any of Lupin's possible exits, including mice holes. You control the Strahd. Another reason I'm doing this game is because I had to do very little voice acting. Like, I don't think I have to do any voice acting when I think of it. It's dark in this box room. Good. No windows. No possible entry. Ha ha! There is a possible entry. If someone wanted to descend from the roof here, he'd need a lot of time, and it wouldn't be a quiet business. But I'd be wise to leave a man on duty here, and he will signal the alarm at any suspicious movement coming from the roof. Arsene Lupin, it's you and I now. Yes. There's the latch. Another crap. So it's pretty much everything you look at is like no, voice acted. No exits on this side. Nothing to report. Shut up. It's shocking that certain artists persist in painting with their feet. <laughs> When I see this, I tell myself that life isn't fair. Alright then. Alright then. See you next video. Adios.